We welcome you back. So Boston, down 3-1 in Brooklyn. And you Mathata. thought the Nets were going to come out here and just, you know, run them out of the gym oh. early. They didn't do that. Very methodical. Something, it was. It was you know, business like some credit. They really, well. What? <laughs> they, they, they tried. Well, they, yeah, they're banged up, too, yeah. and down 3-1, and there's Kyrie. But now we get the matchup we all wanted to see. Yes, yes, Saturday. Ooh, look, look at beard. Oh, my goodness. You ain't got no Jabari Parker highlights, Ernie. And then, oh, the, the beard again. <laughs> Easy Shaq. This guy is unbelievable. Kyrie. Oh. Ooh. He had 15 in the first half. 59-51 games. Go to third. I tell Blake you what's amazing, Griffin. Ernie. As great as the Nets team is, yeah. their crowd compared to Mesquite Garden is like night and day for some reason. This is the Knicks. I mean, it's, I mean, it's amazing though. It don't even sound like that. Like you had a playoff game in Brooklyn. Boston down seven after three, and then from basically the same spot, you got Durant, part of a 23 to nine run that put this one out of reach. Uh, so Kyrie said, "I'll try that spot too." Bang bang. And then uh, James Harden said, "Well, it must be something to that, so I'll do this too." Harden. 34, 10, and 10 is fourth playoff triple double. What a pass. Durant had 24, Kyrie had 25. Leave him open. They, they have a better chance. You say that about a lot of guys. Browns, how to make that. 123, 109 is your final. Brooklyn into the Eastern Conference semis for the first time since uh, 2014. And, uh, and this is the first time since uh, 2016 that the Celtics are knocked out in the first round. Atlanta got them back in 2016. Um, we start our post game wrap with Brad Stevens. You know, obviously we've got some really, you know, really good players and some proven guys, and um, but we have to improve. This team that that beat us is a very good team. Um, there are very good teams across the East, and we're going to have to get better. We never got a true look at this team this year, um, but I think we have enough information that um, shows that we need to get better. To play against the best players in the world um, on this stage, this platform, so many people watching with guys that I came up with in the league, James, Kyrie, um, you know, it's, it's definitely cool, but I mean, I'm not trying to sit back and reflect on how nice it is to play with those guys. I'm trying to get, get out there and get work done and worry about um, how we gonna get better each and every day? But you know, it is uh, it is fun playing with two guys that uh, could pretty much do everything on the basketball court. Three of the best scorers to, to ever play the game, you know, on one team, uh, and then you have a collection of guys that have, have done unbelievable things as well in this league. Um, you know, either coming off the bench or starting with us. We're a selfless group. Um, we try to make sure it's not just about us three, uh, but we do understand that. Um, the expectations on us to perform and to lead our team, um, you know, it's just inevitable. The triple-double tracker, James Harden going for 34, 10, and 10. Fourth time he's gone for a triple-double in a playoff game. And uh, the Brooklyn Nets, winners over the Boston Celtics and advancing to meet Milwaukee. Before we talk that series, let's just put the Celtics uh, season into perspective. Uh, 36 and 36, Jalen Brown loss, obviously it was huge for them. Um, and they get knocked out in the first round for the first time, as I said, since 16. Um, no telling what some of the things that might happen with that team, even including, hey, Brad Stevens. People talking about Brad Stevens being the new Indiana head coach, possibly. You know? Well, you can't do that now because the job's taken. I know, yeah, I know it's taken right now. Well, they just hired Mike Wilson. He's not going to well, get it now. I, I, listen, I, I will say this, Ernie. I think if that had to happen and he wasn't in the middle of the season, I think he might have taken that hey, job. Yeah, because that was the because that's been out there the whole yeah. time. But now so. it's too late. But let me say, Brad Stevens, what he said, I like Brad Stevens, but that team underachieved. But the main thing is he hit the nail on the head. They're not good enough right now. Yeah. They're not. You got three superstar teams in the East. 
that are better than them, even if they're healthy, even if they're healthy, they're not on Brooklyn's, Milwaukee, and Philadelphia's level. So if you don't, so they got to get better. And the main thing they got to figure out is can Tatum and Brown play together? I, 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 I think that's a question, uh, a serious question. Uh, because I, when I watch them play, it seems like they just don't play basketball. They take turns. And that's not how you play basketball. Like, you just play, and whoever gets it, he gets it more. He got, some nights he gets it more, some nights he gets it more. When I watch them play, I think they take turns. You got a question on, on th them being able to play together? I agree with Chuck. Uh, but the good thing about having them, too, is you can use one of them to, to get better. Uh, you know, some people think they can play, some people think they can't play. I think the first thing they need to do is make the determination of whose team it is. You know, I just, I just think you need to say, Tatum, you the guy, Brown, say, hey, I'm number two, and everybody else follow suit. <clears throat> but they do have a lot of pieces that they can create. I, I think they need more shooters. I think they need a couple more veterans, and I think they need to get tougher and uh, get meaner. But what they've been doing hasn't been working, so maybe time to switch up. I think if, you know, if you want someone to come out and say, okay, this is, this is Tatum teams, that would take Jalen Brown coming to that conclusion and saying, yes, this is, a la Dwayne Wade saying, here, LeBron James, take this Miami Heat team, a la Kyrie Irving saying, hey, James Harden, you are the point guard. I think that takes a certain level of maturity. And the reality is, is Jalen Brown is 22, 23 years old. You're expecting him to do something that uh, Dwayne Wade, who was already a champion, who's already a multi-time All-Star, um, you, uh, Kyrie Irving, already a champion, several All-Stars. You're ex you're asking him to do something at a point in his career where he may not be comfortable saying that yet. And so, I think they have to take a deep look at everything on this roster and figure it out because the Gordon Hayward experiment failed. Not that Gordon failed, it just didn't work in, in Boston. Kyrie Irving, it didn't work in Boston. So they really have to take a, a deep look at everything and see how their team can get better. And Chuck, I'm not talking about the Indiana Hoosiers, I'm talking about Indiana Pacers. That's the talk. Why would you jump on the Titanic? I'm just saying that's the talk that's oh, out there, that oh, the Indiana yeah, yeah. Pacers' new head coach could be Brad Stevens if there's a, if there's a change there. I'm not talking about Mike oh. Woodson at the college oh. ranks, man. I, you, you had me scrambling like, you, what, you had, Mike, you, Woodson, oh. Mike Woodson went from Indiana Hoosiers to the Pacers? Uh, no. Well, listen, man. What's the happen when you listen to a dummy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's look, let's look ahead. Ooh. Your first, your gut instinct when you think about the Bucks and the Nets. Yes, and, sir. Okay, so keep this in mind. First meeting of the year, no Kyrie. Uh, second meeting of the year, no Harden, and no Harden in the third meeting. So the Bucks haven't seen this team with, uh, with these three guys, they did take two out of three in the regular season. Uh, Giannis had a game of 34, 12, and seven, another one of 49, eight, and four, another one of 36 and 12. But at, on the other side, Kyrie in their last meeting had 38, KD had 32. KD had a 42 point game. This is gonna be epic. E oh yeah, I mean, it, it's, it, I can't wait for Saturday. I I'm looking forward to Saturday. And, and what what you just say, Ernie, they haven't seen that team? They haven't seen them with all three. They don't want to see that team with all three. And, you know, I think the, the Bucks, the Buc listen, the Bucks Bet have it. a chance. They, they definitely have a chance. But what this is why they went and got Drew Holiday. They went and got Drew Holiday because they need a guy who can score, they need a guy who can get stops, and they needed some dog. So, Hey, this is this is this was going all ride on Drew Holiday. It's not Giannis. Giannis is going to do what he do. Drew Holiday has to step up, and Chris Middleton has to be the same guy he's been all year. Both teams play fast. Both teams can score, but one team doesn't have lockdown defense. You know, one team can't say, okay, two or three minutes, we're going to lock somebody down. That's why I'm leaning a little bit towards Milwaukee. Listen, the three guys going to Brooklyn. They're going to do what they do. Giannis is going to do what they do. But I think when it comes time to lock down. And your team being that lockdown mentality, Milwaukee has the edge on that. Are we going to see because DeAndre again, Jordan in this series? Does Steve Nash have to play him with Mil with Milwaukee's well, size? Well, I was just well, I was giving to make a point. I think the difference in the series is going to be Milwaukee's size, Lopez, Portis, those guys. I do think they're going to miss miss DiVincenzo. I think they're going to miss him, but they can't rebound. 
they can't they can't rebound with Milwaukee. Uh, so I, I like Milwaukee to win the series. I, I love the addition of Drew Holiday. I, you know, he's one of my favorite players. I love bringing in P.J. Tucker mm -hmm. and Bobby Portis, bringing in toughness and rebounding. I think the depth, I think the difference in the series, I mean, they lost DiVincenzo, but I still think their depth is going to be the difference in the series. Go big. It's going to be a great can I ask a question? Eastern Conference semifinal. Say what? Can I ask a question? Yeah. We keep talking about their size. This is not Brooke Lopez from Brooklyn. Brooke Lopez standing at the three-point line on No, you. he has stopped doing that. Let's stop it. I'm telling you, he has stopped doing that. Me and Shaq been paying attention. No, 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 don't, no, don't, don't put me in your beef with Draymond. <laughs> Wait, we were talking uh, about he don't just stand out there and shoot three. My name Ben and I ain't get him, Draymond. Right. Uh, Brooke okay. Lopez, right. we, we keep talking like Brooke Lopez guy taking guys to the block. I got nothing. I'll slap a guy with one arm. Get him, Draymond. Also, Brent Forbes is yep. playing big for, for, for the Bucs. You just said the other team was going to win. I said Brent Forbes is playing. He's playing big. You, hey. you keep talking about defense uh -oh. like, like Brent Forbes. Well, Alex, Alex, you might want to hold off on that. Yeah. I appreciate that, A-Rod. Hey. And I'm a Yankees fan. A-Rod hey. know what's up. Hey, hey, Alex, you know I love you, but you might need to hold off on that twist.